Life in Florida. I've got the beautiful Indian River behind me. Yes, Florida's beautiful. Well, today I'm going to answer some of your questions on my short film, The Billionaire and the Movie Star. I've got five questions here, so let's get started. Well, my first question comes from Mr. Wilson in St. Petersburg, Florida. And he asks, what's the history and your history with El Coyote Mexican Cafe in Los Angeles? Well, just to give you a little history about them, they opened their doors in 1931, March 5th, 1931 in Los Angeles. They were at one location for a while, then they moved over to the location they're at now on Beverly Boulevard. And they just recently celebrated 90 years of being a business. It's a famous restaurant in LA, it's a landmark. They film a lot of movies and commercials there. Uh, Quentin Tarantino filmed a scene for uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood there. I filmed my short film, The Billionaire and the Movie Star there. They film commercials there. Celebrities go there. On the wall when you first come in, there's pictures of all these celebrities. Now, what's funny about that, there must be 80 or 100 celebrities that have come in there and ate and, and frequent the El Coyote restaurant. Uh, John Wayne used to come in there, Ricardo Montalban, Sean Penn, uh, Robin Williams, Stacey Keach, uh, even Princess Grace has come to El Coyote and ate. And I go to El Coyote and eat, and I love that place. They know me there, and it's a, it's a great place, great food, great drinks. And if you come in when Mario or Jose are bartending, man, you're going to get a nice, strong drink, a great drink. And I really love El Coyote Mexican Cafe on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles. I started going there in about 1995. My uncle was working down the street, and I went to take him for lunch one day, and we ended up going over there, and I fell in love with the place. And I've been going there probably 25, 26 years. So if you see this video and you go to El Coyote, tell them Chris sent you from the Billionaire and the Movie Star. They know me. Probably, I hope they miss me. I miss that place. I like to get back there and have a drink and talk to everybody. I haven't been there for almost two years now. So um, El Coyote Mexican Cafe on Beverly Boulevard in Los Angeles. Great place, great food, great drinks, great atmosphere, famous place. And a lot of history and a lot of celebrities go there. You never know who you may run into. So uh, be prepared to see all the celebrities on the wall. And you might see them at the table across from you. So you got to love El Coyote Mexican Cafe in Los Angeles. Well, my second question comes from Norm in Santa Monica, California. And Norm says, uh, Ron Kologi is a great actor. How did you meet him? And I loved him, an active shooter. Well, I loved him, an active shooter, too, Norm. He's a great actor. Uh, this is a funny story how I met Ron. I had this film all written and uh, ready to go, and I was about three weeks away from shooting it. And I had everything worked out to a certain date. I had the insurance, and I had El Coyote lined up, and the actors lined up, and I had everything ready for one big day of filming at El Coyote. But I was missing one thing. I was missing my movie star. And I tried to get a couple of real famous movie stars, and uh, one of them got back to me later on. I won't give you their names, but uh, they didn't get back to me very quickly, and uh, I was getting a little bit in a panic, like, I need a movie star. Who's going to play this part? I need somebody well-known, a famous guy for playing himself and playing him uh, in The Billionaire and the Movie Star. So I'm in Coyote one day, El Coyote, and it's a Sunday, Sunday fun day, and I'm having a couple of drinks, and I'm at the bar, and I get in a conversation with this guy in a booth, and we're talking baseball. And it sure happens to be Ron Kologi. And so we start talking about baseball and stuff. And I enjoyed him. I enjoyed the conversation. So I ended up getting my drink and going over and joining him. And I find out he's an actor. And he's been in a lot of commercials. And he's been in a lot of soap operas. And he's kind of taking a break from acting. And uh, after meeting me, he kind of got motivated again. And he got back into it. So Ron has been acting since like 1980, I think. He's been acting for a lot of years and a really well-known actor and a great actor. And so we started talking and I thought, you know what, Ron would be perfect for this short film. You know, he's a good looking guy, he's a good actor, he's a nice guy, I could, I could put him in this film. So I started negotiating with him and we're both drinking. I bought him a drink and uh, next thing you know, I cast him and put him in uh, The Billionaire and the Movie Star and it was a perfect fit. So he did a great job in uh, my film. He did a great job in Active Shooter and uh, Ron has become a close friend of mine and uh, just a great guy, good actor, and uh, you'll see him in many more projects, I'm sure. So actually, I met him at El Coyote, and that I guess it was meant to be, and I put him in the film. Well, my third question comes from Sandy of Houston, Texas, and she asks, 
you or she says you were great as the billionaire are you really that way in real life sandy i hope not <laughs> uh I'm glad you enjoyed the film, and uh, I'm a real jerk in The Billionaire, and that's part of my character, and that's what they call acting. But I'll give you a funny story. Um, I looked at that part that I wrote for myself as a cross between Donald Trump and Floyd Mayweather. Donald Trump for the arrogancy, and Floyd Mayweather for all the bling and the money and all that. So I'm really off the top, you know. That was kind of my character for the short film, The Billionaire and the Movie Star. and. Um, after I made the film, this is a kind of a funny story. I do a lot of I used to do a lot of auditions in Hollywood and about a mile from El Coyote. And I used to go to El Coyote once in a while and have lunch and a drink or two. And uh, so this one day I do this audition in Hollywood and I thought, you know, I did really good on this audition. I'm going to treat myself to a nice Mexican lunch and a margarita. So I'll just drive over to uh, El Coyote and sit down there and uh, have a nice lunch and a margarita and relax. So I'm in the restaurant in the bar area. And I got my food and I got a drink. And there's this guy sitting across the booth from me in the bar area. And he keeps staring at me. I'm going, what's this guy looking at? What's he, what's he staring at? You know, what's, what's his deal? What's his problem? Now, you got to understand, I'm a contractor and I make my living mostly with construction. I haven't made a lot of money with the movies as, at this point. So I don't really think of myself of being in films, even though I've done all these films. I'm just used to swinging a hammer and making my money that way. So I'm not walking around going, you know, I'm a big movie star and I'm in this film, I'm in that film. I, I don't really think about it. So this guy is staring at me and he's starting to bother me. And I'm thinking, what's with this guy? What's his problem, you know? So I thought, well, I'll address him. So I look over and I say, sir, uh, excuse me, you know, do you know me or, you know, uh, you know, what's going on? So he starts off, he looks at me and he goes, well, you're the guy, right? You're the guy, right? The billionaire and the movie star, you're the guy. I said, the guy? Oh, my short film, The Billionaire and the Movie Star. Yeah, I'm the guy. And he's, oh, man, I loved you in that film. So I end up taking my drink. I go over. I sit down with him and talk with him for a while, buy him a drink. Turns out he knew me from the film. He loved the film. And he was afraid to approach me because I was such a jerk in that film. He goes, I didn't, I didn't want you to be mad at me. I, didn't, I just didn't want to get you upset. <laughs> well, I guess I played my part pretty well. So, uh, interesting story, you know, I thanked him for watching the film, I bought him a drink, I went back to my meal, and uh, I'm not that way. <laughs> Sandy, I'm a good guy. So, thanks for the question, and I'm glad you enjoyed my short film, The Billionaire and the Movie Star. Well, my fourth question is from Tim in Tucson, Arizona, and he asks, the actress that played Vanessa, she's hot. What is she doing these days? Is she still acting? Well, the actress that played Vanessa is Lena Duplessis, and she is hot, and she's a great actress. Uh, I haven't talked to her in a few years, but she took a break from acting for a little while. She got married. She had a child. I'm sure she's going to return back to acting. If she hasn't already, she probably has. Uh, but very talented lady and a great actress. And, um, yeah, she was great in The Billionaire and the Movie Star. She was great in that. I loved her in that. And uh, she's a great actress, a great friend, a great person. And I'm sure she will return back to, um, to acting. So again, her name is Selena DePlessis. She did also did a film, a short film that she produced called My Name is Karma. You can see that, I believe, on IMDb. It's out there in other areas, too. I'm not sure exactly where, but it's out there. And she's been in a lot of films, and she's really a talented actress. So that's your answer, Tim, and thank you for watching The Billionaire and the Movie Star. Well, my fifth and final question comes from Ruby in Pueblo, Colorado. And Ruby says, I love the film. Are you going to do a follow-up to The Billionaire and the Movie Star? Well, Ruby, that wasn't part of my plans. But you never know. I've had a couple other people ask me that. One lady watched the film, said she loved it so much she wanted just to continue, continue, continue. And it was, that wasn't the purpose. It was a short film and a, a short story. And uh, I wasn't fa figuring on making it a full feature film or making a follow-up series. But you never know. If it gets a lot more response and people want to see it, why not? I may do it. So uh, not in my plans, but it could happen. So thank you for the question. Thank you for watching my short film, The Billionaire and the Movie Star, and watching my series, Life in Florida. There will be more videos. There will be more short films. So uh, I will surprise you with some more interesting things in the future. So thanks for all your support. Thanks for watching. Stay happy. Stay healthy. And what is it I always say? We'll see you soon.